all these questions are going to say change to the other form to start with. All right, that means if it's in exponential, change it to a logarithm. If it's in a logarithm, change it to an exponential. All right, so I always just start by writing down when I'm going to a logarithm, all right, the LOG. The base is the base up here, all right? So the base in this exponential is a four, all right? So that means that down here, the four is going to go there and make sure that you write it. So at least it's a little smaller, kind of down a little bit from the, from the word. So it's not just kind of fitting in there. Okay. The <clears throat> answer to the exponential goes next here. I'm probably going to put it in parentheses most of the time. All right. Just because it's a good idea to make sure we understand that it has to go in parentheses. Okay. And then the exponent is always going to be the answer to the logarithmic equation. All right. So the exponent is always going to be the answer. So the exponent is always going to be the answer. Whatever the answer was up here, all right, is going to go next to the logarithm, all right? I'm not sure how you want to remember this. I remember it's base, answer, exponent, all right? And I, I haven't done a ton with logarithms. I don't, I, in my financial stuff background, I do a lot with logarithms. Um, but I still have to really think about that when I put these things back and forth. It's not automatically like a lot of high school math stuff is for me. I really have to think about this when I'm swapping them back and forth.